The Framemeister makes everything better. Even Old English 800. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room. If you've been watching my show for a while, you've probably heard me shout, Framemeister! What is it? It's this thing. The XRGB Mini Framemeister Compact Upscaler. What does it do? Lots of cool stuff. Let's take a look. Also, it's called the Framemeister. How can you live without one? Can I plug it into the Thrustmaster? Here we have the Thrustmaster and the Framemeister. Can we combine the two like Devastator to create the Thrustmeister? No. Well, sort of. That would be hard to use though. Warning, do not try to create the Thrustmeister, or else you'll tear a hole in the fabric of the universe because the Thrustmaster doesn't master frames any more than the Framemeister meists thrust. Framemeister! Its only purpose is to meist frames, one frame at a time. Framemeister! In addition to being extremely fun to say, the Framemeister is actually quite useful. However, it's an extremely unique product aimed at a very specific market. Retro gamers with money to spare. Because it's not inexpensive and for the most part there's far cheaper alternatives. I'll get to that in a moment, but basically the Framemeister is the device that you want to use if you're going to be playing games with SCART or RGB. Using SCART connectors, which is not a normal connector at least in the United States. And, to make matters even more confusing, you can't plug SCART directly into it, because this takes RGB. Me. What's that? Exactly. Let's talk about it. The red light means it's thinking of ways to destroy you, and it's not on yet. Here's the RGB input, which as you can see is not the same thing as SCART. As this SCART connector here, which is running from the MSX, otherwise known as the PS4 Pro. So in order to get the SCART cable or the SCART connector into this thing, we need to use this. The 21 pin to XRGB Mini RGB Euro SCART cable with sync. Sent to the show by Rob at RetroGamingCables.co.uk who also sent this nice Framemeister overlay for the remote control. So here's what you do. You put the phone down and use well, use two hands. This part does seem a bit confusing at first, that the Framemeister is most useful for SCART, but it doesn't actually have a SCART connector. So buy one of these things, just plug your SCART connector right into that, and then you're gonna plug this part into the RGB input. Plugs right in there, and the sync thing goes back here into the USB. Okay, there you go. Now you are ready to meist some frames. But wait, there's more. The Frame Meister will also accept inputs from other AV sources such as Composite and S-Video. How about two different HDMI inputs and this other one that I've never used? The Frame Meister does it all and has a micro SD card slot so that you can download a firmware update, which I did successfully. Framemeister! There's SCART cables available for a lot of different game systems out there. Sadly, you're not going to find them easily for something like the Atari 2600 or 7800, unfortunately, or even the original NES, although there's different ways that you can have these game systems modded to output RGB via SCART. And I'm always told that I pronounce SCART wrong or mention it, I, whatever. I just call it SCART and I don't care. Let's see, now we take the 21 pin adapter, put that into the front, you plug the little USB thingy into the back here, which does something with sync, I don't even know. <laughs> but apparently this is the cable that you want. And then you just plug your SCART cables right into that, you're good to go. So it does take a bit of uh, 
investment to get this up and running. A bit of an investment, it's not inexpensive, but once, once you have it all set up and ready to go, it's super awesome and relatively easy to use. Frame Meister! In addition to the fact that it's always fun to say Frame Meister, you can technically do that for free. What you're paying for with the Frame Meister is the best. There's a reason they can charge over 300 bucks for this thing because they have a monopoly on the best. It's the best video upscaler you can get, especially for gaming. It'll play pretty much whatever you throw at it, and it does it well. I haven't noticed any problems with gameplay or response time. It always looks fabulous, outputs 1080p. I mean, it's garbage in, garbage out. If you send it a crappy source, it'll just pass that crappy source right through to your TV, so it's not going to clean up a composite signal as you see here. Sadly, the Mark III does not do SCART, at least not without a signal boost, but the Xbox does. And so does the Sega Genesis Model 1 and the Sega Master System, which really benefits from SCART and the Frame Meister. Personally, I would not have invested in this were it not for the fact that I really want to play MSX and ZX Spectrum. Because they're tricky. Especially the ZX Spectrum on American televisions. Th that's, a, that's a tough one. But thanks to the Frame Meister and a lot of help from viewers, I'm now able to enjoy the bazillion ZX Spectrum games and the ultra-incredible MSX as you see here. Let's get started. Now one of the first things that you want to do is upgrade the firmware on your Frame Meister. When you turn this thing on, it's all in Japanese. You might want English menus. It's really easy and I produced a different video where I upgraded the firmware. So let's take a quick look at that because this is really helpful. Frame Meister! This is what you all tweeted me to do, so I'm gonna do this. And I hope it works. I will be very upset if it like turns this thing inside out or something. Then I will have to play more plane and tank and just shoot it with my phone instead of using the Frame Meister. Frame Meister! With any luck this will download a Frame Meister update and not like porn or something. Of course, then I'd have something to watch also, you know. Frame Meister! Okay, so now I'm supposed to unplug this thing, insert the micro SD card, and then I plug it back in. So I need both hands for that. So I'm gonna go do it and uh, we'll see what happens. What happens is that it works. Just Google Frame Meister firmware update. It'll get you where you need to go or just head over to mycomsoft, mycomsoft.co.jp. It's very simple. If I can do it, you can do it because I'm an idiot. Frame Meister. All right, now that we've upgraded firmware, you may also want this sweet overlay from Retro Gaming Cables, which helps you actually read the buttons unless you read Japanese. But uh, thanks again to Rob from Retro Gaming Cables. For that, now we are ready to play some MSX through SCART. So you turn this on, you can switch your inputs with the input button here or use your remote control. Plug this into the, hi there, plug this into the LCD television because it's HDMI output and it's not going to work on my CRT. So we're going to go LCD, my good old school. Nice. Love this game. The Frame Meister is terrific. It's great for the MSX. I love the different overlays and filters that you can put on top of games. The menu interface is really easy to use, and in general, it's a nice device. And you know what? It should be for what it costs. So you have to ask yourself do you need a Frame Meister, which is the most expensive HDMI video converter available, when a basic one will do the job for most purposes? And that depends on whether or not you want to play Sega Master System or Sega Genesis Model 1 or a modified PC Engine or ZX Spectrum or MSX Computer with SCART. If you want to play with SCART, then yes, you'll want a Frame Meister. Otherwise, I'll recommend this. Seriously, this is like 30 bucks on eBay, maybe less, and it does the job. I've been using it for years. In fact, this still does all the heavy lifting for my PlayStation 3 and PSTV reviews. 
because they have copy protection and this breaks it. Here's my basic video converter, which as you can see is a bit smaller than the FrameMeister. It does S-Video Composite and HDMI with HDMI output 720p, 1080p. It doesn't have all of the advanced features. It doesn't do RGB. It doesn't have the scan lines. It can't put on those cool filter effects. So it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the FrameMeister does, but it also costs about one-tenth as much. So that's what you're paying for with the FrameMeister. You're paying for the bells and whistles the RGB, it, do, it is better. I mean, there's, there's no question it's better. You need to make the decision on whether or not that's worth the money for you. Otherwise, this, this will do a perfectly good job. I still use this, like I said, for my PlayStation 3 stuff. If all you're gonna be doing is Atari 2600, for example, you, you may wanna just get the video converter and then run, run your Atari or your VCR through this thing into an LCD screen. It works perfectly well. But if you're going up to MSX, if you're, if you're able to afford the PC engine, you probably want a FrameMeister. So where do I buy a FrameMeister on eBay? In fact, search through the Classic Game Room website that helps the show, and then poke around on eBay because prices can vary. You're probably not going to find one for less than 300 bucks, and you're probably going to have to import it from Japan. But if you look closely, you may be able to find one at a good price with free shipping. So check around. I found mine for about 320 with free shipping, so that was actually a pretty good deal. That was the cheapest one available at the time. If you're tight on cash, search on eBay for this guy. Just your basic video converter. They all look more or less just like that. I think it's just a generic made in China thing, but it works fine. This takes composite, S-Video, and HDMI, and this will also break PAL. So I use this for my PAL N64 reviews, like Wave Race, for example, it was made with this. It's upside down was made with this. If I have any complaints about the FrameMeister, it's that the device itself feels cheap. It, it hasn't necessarily shown itself to be cheap, but it's very light. The remote control is probably a pretty basic generic remote control. So you don't, you don't get a device that feels like $300, to be honest. That's not to say it doesn't work like a $300 device. It just doesn't look like one. Maybe they should have encased it in I don't know, carbonite or something, adamantium. Wood grain. Wood grain, wood grain would have solved it, really. Wood, wood grain fixes a great many things. Maybe the FrameMeister 2.0 will have a wood grain finish. Then it will be worth $300,000. It will be worth infinite dollars if it's wood grain. Does the FrameMeister work with the mighty Vectrex? Well, sort of. You can put it on top. Like a little hat, which makes the Vectrex Meister. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. <laughs> Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick from New Jersey Michael Fernandez People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez <laughs> Al Stiver <laughs> Woo! EDF. Jason 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 from British Columbia Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna Austria, Austria. Cue the thunder Jeff Captain Dauntless, Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris! From Australia! Oh hi, Cunny! Master of Thunder! Chip Sankvale! Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros! Gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson! Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will. Will? Will. Will. Will.